Big Scotty here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Diecast Car Love. Today I want to talk about some of the differences between Mini GT and Hot Wheels. It's not really a competition. I will discuss my preferences, but the good news is there's plenty of joy to go around. All these cars are so much fun. Let's talk about the history. Of course, Hot Wheels is the original gangster, been around a long time, and they've made people happy for decades. They are a global sensation, and everyone loves them. I got started with Hot Wheels. Chances are you did too. Now, their designs are more fun and more playful, whereas Mini GT, they're a new brand. They've only been around for a few years. There's only about 700 Mini GT cars, and they're more focused on detail and getting it right when it comes to realistic cars. Their history is kind of rich, even though it's short, because they're all enthusiasts. Now, the audience for Hot Wheels is children. Let's say that's the, the biggest audience. Now, lots of us adults still buy them, but it's designed as a toy. The Hot Wheels car is a toy. Their outrageous designs are meant to attract the attention and the imagination of children of all ages. You can race them. They're cool. Mini GTs, that's for ages 14 and up. These are not toys. You don't want to give these to your kids to run into the wall because they're more collectible. They're more valuable. Some Mini GT cars sell uh, for a lot more money than Hot Wheels. I think investors are more attracted to Mini GT, although there are plenty of valuable Hot Wheels. If I were to grade three things going on that make Hot Wheels attractive, it's that they're ubiquitous. You can get them just about anywhere in the world. They're also very affordable. Prices start at a dollar. Mini GT is an offshoot of True Scale Miniatures, which is a company known for making larger scale models. And they've gotten a lot of recognition because their cars are so detailed and collectors uh, are attracted to them because collectors started Mini GT. I do want to do one very short comparison to give you some idea of what I'm talking about. These are two Corvettes. One is the Hot Wheels Premium, and that's what we're showing first. Now, if I just saw this casting, I'd be pretty happy with it, saying, wow, this is very true to life. This is the Corvette race car, the C8R, and Hot Wheels did a great job for this. For six or seven bucks, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. But the Mini GT is more detailed. You'll see a lot more detail in the front air dam. The lights are more realistic. The mirrors, obviously, are much more realistic, more pronounced, and the livery is more realistic. These are actually the decals of the sponsors that are currently with Corvette on the Mini GT car. So it's just a little bit more realistic, more detailed, and that's what you pay for. As you may have guessed based on what you've heard so far in this video, I'm focusing my collecting hobby on Mini GT right now. I have lots of reasons for wanting to collect Mini GT. That's where I'm going to focus most of my efforts over the next six months anyway. And partly because I really like the limited editions. For the Hot Wheels car, there might be tens and tens and tens of thousands of them. But most of the Mini GT cars are going to be limited to three to 6,000. That makes them more valuable. They are highly, highly detailed. Hot Wheels sometimes will do a really good job for the money on details, but I have never seen Mini GT do anything but a spectacular job on details. I love the accurate liveries, and I do like the little presentation boxes that you get your Mini GT cars in versus a blister pack from Hot Wheels. The blister pack you have to basically destroy to take the car out, and then you don't have anything to show with it. The little box that comes the Mini GT is just perfect for display. So that's what I think. How about you? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Did I get something wrong? Did I miss something? I'm sure I did. It's a short video. Please send me an email and let me know what you think. It's diecastcarlove at proton.me. I appreciate you watching the video. Feel free to subscribe if you like this content because I plan on doing more. That's it for this show.